Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. In this video today, we would speak about the semi-portable type fire extinguisher as well as the foam applicator unit present in the engine room as another primary and essential media for firefighting. So let us start. As we all know that the semi-portable type fire extinguisher by the virtue of its name as well as its appearance has a larger size and needs an additional medium for its transportation. That is why the structure differs a little bit from a typical portable fire extinguisher. While the body design remains the same, it is the base and the carrying unit that changes. For instance, the typical cylinder unit or the fire extinguisher container would be there but definitely of larger size and again activated by the similar cartridge system available within the unit which is again ruptured or opened by the pin inside the unit and that is triggered by a mechanism on the top. But now since this is a semi portable unit, this entire unit is mounted on a trolley or a carriage. This carriage has wheels attached to its rear end and frame that mounts the semi portable type extinguisher and handle to easily move it and then transport it from one place to another. Ideally, the semi portable type fire extinguisher on board is found near the boiler. It is so because this unit of a higher capacity should be easily and readily available in case there is a major fire in the uptake unit or the boiler unit itself which requires much more aggravated as well as continuous firefighting mechanism. Also, because the capacity is higher and the application is vivid, therefore the hose is also of a much larger size in terms of length and dia. And hence it is important for us to know that the hose is always free of chinks and is nicely and readily wrapped around the structure and thus always available for direct usage. The hose is also to be made sure that it is free of small cracks on the surface which can hamper the firefighting ability or can also create a risk for the user. Now let us see how this extinguisher works. As already told that may it be a DCP type or a foam type extinguisher. So let us consider for example a foam type design. The cartridge inside the unit is ready to be opened as the propelling unit. Now this cartridge is let go or ruptured by the triggering pin that is on top. This triggering mechanism would be released when we remove the pin from the top and then thereby rupture it or puncture it through the needle. Once the needle penetrates and the triggering media and the propelling media is allowed to flow out, it would then thereby pressurize the solution which is present inside or in case if it is a chemical type foam then along with the chemical media present inside would be triggered out and then mixed with the outer solution and thereby create the foam and then through the tube present inside the structure would make its way to the top. From here it would readily flow through the hose and thereby go through the extended hose to the nozzle. The nozzle would thereby then have a handle which we can use to direct the hose towards the base of the fire or the area where we need the foam or the powder to be propelled and thereby directing the firefighting media onto the relevant area. Much like the other portable fire extinguishers, the semi portable fire extinguisher also has its own monthly maintenance and checks and it is very important for us to understand that the mounting straps of the bottle should always be secured in such a way that the entire unit is in one single piece so that while major or minor transportation of this entire media there should not be any hazards or accidents that can occur. Similarly, the wheel should also be investigated and inspected always to make sure that the rubber coating on the top of the tires is always in good condition to not create additional hindrance or friction in case the unit is being transported. Now speaking about the technical details of the semi portable fire extinguisher which differ from the portable fire extinguisher. It is important to understand that the semi portable fire extinguisher should not be less than 45 kgs in the extinguishing media size. Whereas the total weight can go up to 85 to 105 kgs as well. That is the entire media as well as the other entablature weight being included. As already understood and explained that the type of the semi portable extinguisher can be foam type as well as DCP type and according to that the internals of fire extinguisher as well as the explanation of propulsion and the release of the fire extinguishing media would differ which we can collaborate with the semi portable type explanation very easily. Again the location emphasis that is the location of the semi portable extinguisher 
is near the boiler or the incinerator for reasons explained before. The hose, as I said, is of extended length and thus varies between 7.6 to 15.2 meters in terms of reach. The propelling media inside the cartridge in this unit is also CO2 along with other additional elements that can be used in terms of the temperature suitable applications. The cartridge content inside this particular cartridge that is used for a semi-portable design would be definitely of much larger size owing up to the amount of extinguishing media that is to be released and thus the size is close to 250 grams. Whereas height of the entire structure can go as high as 1200 to 1420 mm. Now that this explanation is clear, let us move to our next topic of concern that is the portable foam applicator unit. Again, the portable foam applicator unit is an additional fire safety media that is being placed in the engine room going up to the nature of the fire and usually you would find it secured near the boiler system, the incinerator system or outside of the engine control room as well in a red box. This box would have a very nicely covered lid secured with a latch mechanism. And inside the box would be the foam applicator, the hose as well as the portable foam applicator container unit. Now let us understand how this works. Again using the inherent nature of the foam to be used as a fire extinguishing media, our basic idea is to create a mixture of air foam solution as well as the water. So what we do is we connect a flexible fire hose to the foam applicator and thereby create water flow in the foam applicator nozzle. By doing so, we create venturi effect at the throat of the nozzle and thereby this venturi effect does the activity of dragging the foam liquid from the container which is inserted with the flexible hose that is the other end of the flexible hose and thus drawing this foam solution into the nozzle and creating a adequate and metered mixture of the water and foam solution and along with the air holes would propel it out through the outlet of the nozzle and thereby directing it onto the surface where the firefighting has to be carried out. Now what is important to know is that the pail size that is the size of the container that contains the foam solution is up to 20 liters and the discharge rate of the nozzle after mixing of the solution water and air through the nozzles would be close to 200 liters per minute. Each of this item being stored in the box has to be inspected separately, especially the foam solution container which is more like a jerry can and contains a sticker. This sticker importantly contains name of the manufacturer of the foam solution, the quantity, the date of last inspection, the date of next inspection and the date of expiry of the foam solution. And thus it is very important to keep this sticker under good and maintained condition for every new user to be familiar with the intricacies of the portable foam applicator system. Also the coupling phase where the hose is being connected is very important to be nicely sealed and therefore the rubber surface inside has to be inspected correctly so that there is no loss of water and no hazard and operational difficulty to the user that is operating the nozzle. Other technical details of the foam applicator unit would also contain the maintenance that is to be carried out on this particular unit which can be checks of the release nozzle, the checks of the air vents as well as the air ingress holes and to make sure that they are not blocked, to make sure that there are no dents or bends on the nozzle due to incorrect storage and also to make sure that the foam container if used partially also once has to be replaced adequately by a new container and suitable requisition to be raised. It is also important that the container which is storing the portable foam applicator foam liquid box and nozzle is marked in a bright red color and that has to be distinguishably visible from a long distance so that everybody can be easily aware of the identification and the availability of this particular media of firefighting. I hope that a clear emphasis on these two firefighting media that is the semi-portable type fire extinguisher as well as the portable foam applicator unit makes you understand about their importance in addition to the portable type fire extinguishers that we have covered before and if any doubt still remains in your mind regarding the operation usage or the properties of these types of designs please feel free to drop into the comment section and let us know your doubts and we'll be happy to clarify them. Please do make sure to share our videos with your colleagues and subscribe to our channel and help us grow together. Thank you.